Hey, what's going on guys? Just a quick video inside of Affinity Publisher talking about section references. So on the screen in front of us, I put together a quick project file just to demonstrate how this feature works. And for those of you who don't understand what section reference is used for, it's a way of taking a copy of our chapter title, such as the one we have right here, and having that display at the bottom of each one of our pages. It's just a way of keeping on track of what chapter you are inside of, despite of what page you are on. So it's a really handy feature to have and to learn. So this is really straightforward. And what we need to do first of all is just make our way up to our master pages on the top left hand side of our interface. Then inside of here, just for demonstration purposes on my document, I've just put together a couple of different shapes here just to make this look a little bit better. But you guys can of course just keep this blank if you want to. So what we need to do first of all is we're going to make our way over to the left hand side toolbar menu and we will grab the frame text tool. Then it's just a case of dragging out a frame text box to be as big as you like. Once you've done that, just make your way up to the top toolbar menu to where it says text. Go about halfway down to insert. Then you want to choose a fields tab and inside of the fields tab, we're going to select section name. Once we've done that, you can now see that Affinity has added this little bit of code in here. And that is all we need in order to make this feature work. So I'm going to grab my move tool and just move this into place where I'd like it displayed on my pages. And I'll put it somewhere around there. What I'm going to do next is make a copy of this just to put on the other side of the page, just so my chapter name is displayed on both pages. So I'll just go ahead and drag that over. Then I just need to align that text over to the other side, over to the right. And that is all we have to do in order to set up this feature. So you guys can come in here and you can change the font of this if you want to, or you can make it bold or italic. That's entirely up to you. But for now, I'll leave this the way it is. So what we're going to do next is we're going to make our way over to the left hand side of the page inside of our pages panel. And what we need to do is open up the section manager, which you can find right here with this button. Once you go ahead and open that up, you can see right here by default, we have section one and this will be automatically here by Affinity Publisher. However, all you need to do with this is just change your name. For me, I've already changed this to introduction to Affinity Publisher. However, you guys would want to name that anything that you would like. Then it's just a case of adding all the different sections of our document in here. And we'll come back to that in just a moment. For now, I just want to show you how this works. So I'll go ahead and close that for a moment. I'm going to open up my page one just down here. And now you can see that we have a copy of the title up here on the, each one of our pages. So right here, it says introduction to affinity publisher, same as it does over on the right hand side. And this is displayed throughout the entire document. However, this isn't what we want to do. We want this to change depending on the which chapter we are on. So this is going to be correct for these four pages. Then once we get to our next chapter, which is getting started with the toolbar, we want that to also have that written down here on the bottom of these pages until we get to the next chapter. So in order to do that, we've got to create ourselves a new section. So first of all, we just need to see what page we are on. And this one is page six of seven. So we'll go ahead and we'll open up our section manager once again, and we'll go and create a new section with this button right here. So what we need to do first of all is we need to make sure we are on the correct page. So that says start on page six. So that is going to be correct for this chapter. Then it's just a case of naming this to be the exact same that we have up here. So I'll go ahead and write getting started with the toolbar. So after typing in your section name, hit enter on your keyboard and that will create the next section for you. Now all we've got to do is make our way through the rest of the document just to start setting up all our different sections. So like I said, you just need to pay attention to what page you are on. So the next chapter down here, which is going to be on page 10, is using layers in Affinity Publisher. So once again, we'll go ahead and create a next section. And as you can see right here, it says start on page 7. However, we want that to start on page 10. And we'll go ahead and give that a section name as well, which is going to be using layers in Affinity Publisher. Okay, so I've completely set up my project as I've only got a few pages inside of this document. However, you guys are more than likely to have a lot more pages than this inside of your projects. So just keep making your way through your documents and creating new sections for each one of your chapters. Then once you've done that, just make your way back to the beginning of your project. And then you can see how it's all updated. So we have our first chapter right here, which is Introduction to Affinity Publisher. And you can see it's been repeated across these first four pages. 
then once we get to the next chapter you can see that it's also updated that to the new chapter name and that will be the same across these four pages then once we get to our final chapter you can see it's also repeated that as well at the bottom of here so just to fill in this little gap right here i want to put some page numbers in there and if you guys don't know how to do that it's very much the same as how you would add the section name right here we'll go back into our master page we'll grab our frame text tool and we'll just drag out a box to be as big as you like then once you've done that go back up to the top menu bar to text once again go down to insert over to fields this time around you want to choose page number then once you've done that you just want to line this up however you would like so i want this to be centered so i'll go ahead and just center that in the middle and i'm going to make that a little bit bigger with the font somewhere maybe around 18 points and just like we did before i'm just going to make a copy of that to put over this side so i'll go ahead and make a copy and just drag that over then once we go back into our main documents we can now see we have our page numbers and that is going to change across each one of our pages so you can see we've got three four five six etc and just like i said before you can go back into your master pages you can go ahead and double tap on your text and you can change the font of that if you would like you can make it either bigger or smaller you can have bold or underline or italic you can do the same thing with your page numbers it's entirely up to you what you would like to do but that is it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, then please go ahead and hit that like button as that really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button as I'm on a personal mission to try and reach 10,000 subscribers. And I'm around 7,000 at the moment, so I'm slowly getting there. And you guys can really help me out with that. But for now, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video.